So he never told you he was thinking about quitting? No, but honestly, I don't think he did think about it. I mean, it felt impulsive. Well, admittedly, I don't know your husband very well, but Nash doesn't seem like the impulsive type. Well, normally he isn't. But then again, normally he wouldn't drive alone into the middle of a desert to have a conversation with a man who doesn't want to talk to him. Okay, that's fair. I realize that this probably sounds crazy. A silly wife with too much time in her hands. No, those aren't words that we use to describe you. But is there a chance you're reading into it too much? The one thing that you have to learn in my line of work is how to read people. It's easy to get caught up in what they're saying and how they're moving and really easy to miss what's really going on under the surface. If you know what to look for, there's this moment and you can see them when they decide they have nothing left to lose. It just ripples across their face. And you think you see that look on your husband's face? For years, Bobby has been walking this tight rope trying to embrace the life that he has now while honoring the one that he left behind. And it was a delicate balance. Your arrival in his life has upset that equilibrium. He's fallen, Mr. Casey, and I need you to help him find his way back to solid ground. 